breakfast, I'm making a delicious oatmeal with banana, peanut butter and pecans. It is more of a breakfast for the fall season, but I love it so much that I eat it no matter how warm it is outside. Start by peeling one of the bananas and cut it in small pieces. Use half of the second banana for the topping. Add to a pan half a cup of oats and a quarter cup of chia seeds and mix them together. Turn off the heat and place the pan on medium heat. Add two thirds to one cup of oat milk. Add half a teaspoon of cinnamon and half a teaspoon of vanilla extract and mix it together with the oats and chia seeds. Add the small cuts banana and keep stirring. If needed you can add some extra water but keep stirring so you get this nice and creamy texture. You can decide when the texture is good for you by adding more water but me I like it when the texture looks a little bit like this. Put the oatmeal into the bowl. For topping, add some pecans, pumpkin seeds and peanut butter. And voila, there you have it. A nice and creamy banana peanut butter oatmeal. For lunch, I made this baked mushrooms with hummus on toasted bread. This recipe is a little different than I originally make, but I just use whatever leftovers I had in the fridge. I start by mixing some olive oil with dried oregano. Normally I put some salt and pepper in there too, but my camera fell into the olive oil mixture, so I just started to save whatever oil I had left and forgot the two other spices. Spread the oil mixture on two slices of bread and put it into the oven to toast. In the meantime, cut up two cloves of garlic and about eight small mushrooms. Put butter in a pan and let it melt onto medium heat. When the butter is fully melted you can add the garlic. Let the garlic become a little golden brown before you put in the mushrooms. Add some salt, pepper, cumin and dried coriander to the mushrooms and stir it all together. Whenever the mushrooms tend to stick to the pan I add some water. When the mushrooms have absorbed all the water, you can turn off the heat. Spread the hummus on the toasted bread and add the mushrooms on top. Now it's ready to eat. I had some leftover salad from the night before, so I added that next to the toast. Someone recommended to me this TV show called Fleabag, so I ended up watching it during lunch and it's a really good show. I love how funny, feminine and chaotic it is all at the same time. That evening I had planned to eat together with a friend of mine. She was feeling a little sick so I decided to do something simple with a lot of healthy and tasty vegetables. You put the couscous in a pan or a bowl and throw in the vegetable broth. Put a lid or a towel over the bowl and let it sit for about 10 minutes. Then I started cutting all the vegetables and put them in little bowls. 
if the couscous is ready you can also just throw it in there but i usually like to put it in bowls so later on i can watch it being put together it's just a little thing that i like to do When I make a couscous salad, I mostly just wing it. I see what I have in the fridge and that's what I use. Put the couscous in the bowl together with all the cut up vegetables, which is my favorite part. Turn on medium heat and heat up some olive oil in the pan. Throw in the vegan chicken bites and bake them golden brown and put them together with the couscous and the vegetables. I found some sweet and sour bell pepper strips in the fridge together with my pesto and I just use it for the salad. Stir everything together and you're done!